Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 26th through to, no, July 26th through to August the 1st. Um, we're going to go ahead. The cards are already shuffled. Let's see what's happening for Aries. First up, we have the Page of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Ace of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Three of Swords reversed. Followed then by the Eight of Wands in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana and Hangman reversed. So, Aries, for your overall energy, it looks like you've got the wonderful, exciting Page of Wands in the upright position. It is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. That of Aries, like yourself, or uh, Leo... Sagittarius, maybe you could be dealing with one of those people. Could be a younger person, perhaps your child, grandchild, um, a niece, a nephew. Somebody could be contacting you with some exciting news for others of you. This is you with the exciting news and you just want to shout it from the rooftops. Uh, something cool could be coming around for you this week. Comes in fast too. The Page of Wands can sometimes represent we've been waiting for a while to hear from someone. For some of you, this is romantic. For others of you, this could be about uh, travel. It could be about um, a business and enterprise. It could be about a lot of different things. But yes, the uh, Page of Wands. Exciting news. This way cometh for Aries. And that's your overall energy too. At the beginning of the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, Ace is ushering some kind of new beginning. For some of you, perhaps the good news that you've been waiting on is uh, somehow connected to the tangible things in life, uh, which is finances. Maybe you're getting news about money. It could be news about a uh, investment. Um, could be that a good investment has come up. It could be a good property price. Maybe you want to jump on that. Uh, could be news about starting a business maybe for some of you because sometimes the Ace of Pentacles represents that sort of business startup kind of thing where we're investing in ourselves. Could be uh, just, you know, sometimes it's a small inheritance or a small sum of money coming your way or just a gift from the, uh, from the anti-cosmos. <laughs> so... It's paired up here with the Three of Swords in the reverse position, pointing back to the Two of Swords upright, which is a card that represents decision making. And it could be a decision about something that initially there was a loss connected to it or a uh, hurt feelings, because sometimes the Three of Pentacles can represent hurt feelings, can represent loss, separation, that kind of thing. But when the card is reversed, this could uh, represent you've already healed from that situation and now there's a decision being presented before you. Sometimes this is just an example. Sometimes the uh, Three of Swords can represent loss of a pet, say. so. Say you went through the loss, you're finally healing from that situation. Well, guess what? You know, good news could come in. Maybe uh, there is a beautiful new pet there that, that you have the opportunity to adopt. And hence, there goes the decision, right? So uh, others of you, this could be healing from a situation, an emotional situation that was difficult, could have been a breakup or something like that. But now perhaps there is a turnaround. Maybe for some of you, the Page of Wands represents hearing from a person on the romantic front and perhaps their news or their information is making you feel better, helping you to heal. And again, decisions always have to come up because we have free will. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright position. Well, this is about fast movement forward. You've got a lot of fast activities going on here. We've got the Page of Wands coming in with some news and this can represent fast, rapid news communication going back and forth, can represent even um, uh, travel, certain travel coming up suddenly. Uh, this can be arrows of love find their mark. So for some of you, this is somebody messaging you and perhaps, you know, a budding relationship is starting and it's very exciting, very passionate. The Wands do represent passion for sure and speed. So whatever's going on, it's happening quickly. And I know Aries likes that fast speed. So could be some cool news coming for, for you and uh, could involve travel or could involve some type of, you know, communication going back and forth about some uh, business deal or something like that or a financial deal. 
And the last card you have is no surprise here, the hangman in reverse. This is all about returning to action when the hangman is in the upright position. We need to wait. Wait on somebody else, wait for the tide to turn, wait for something, maybe wait for a message or wait for the go-ahead from someone. Well, now it's here. Uh, finally, Aries and the hangman is in reverse, indicating a return to action. No more stalls, no more holdups. Aries is good, uh, good to go <laughs> and to move quickly, just the way Aries likes it, like I said. So, a pretty cool reading here for my Aries. I really hope that this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.